Pops Cooper, livingcooper.com. Look what Pops got. Check it out, y'all. I got a 1980 Vespa P200E that I'm rebuilding, and this is the Vespa Rebuild Series. And this is episode 4 Dici or episode 14. And in this episode, I'm going to be covering my wheels and tires. We're going to clean, strip, prep, paint the rims, and then assemble the tires. So if you guys haven't seen the other episodes, check those out. I take you basically from a bare frame to where we are right now. But in this episode, we're all about wheels and tires. I'll keep watching and let's get started. Now we're going to get started with prepping and painting these rims, these tire rims for the Vespa. You can see this one, this one's pretty filthy. So I'm going to clean these things and you can see where some of the paint and stuff has been flaking off of them. And so we're going to clean these things and kind of sand them down at least around these edges where the paint is flaked off. And we'll probably do like a fine sandpaper on them just to kind of scratch them up a little bit, scuff them up a little bit before we paint them. And then we're going to paint these things. So we're going to head outside and do that now. There you go. I use this. Dawn power wash to kind of, kind of clean these up, get all the big grease and junk off of them that was on them. And now I'm going to get some sandpaper and scrubbing brushes, bar brushes, things like that, and kind of get all this flaking paint off of here so I can paint these things so they won't chip and look terrible. And they'll look much better than they do now. Y'all keep watching. Yeah, it started just to sand this, but it was just flaking off, the paint was flaking off these things. So I went ahead and got some paint stripper, as you saw, and I stripped these things down pretty much all the way to bare metal. And now I'm going to finish it up. There's some sharp edges on these things, some burrs and stuff. So I'm going to use a little grinder, a little dribble grinder, and some wire brushes and little flapper wheels and things to kind of get off, get all the sharp edges off and kind of straighten these things up. Got a couple ball peen hammers. This one here was kind of bent a little bit so I use a ball peen hammer and I, I think I've pretty much got it straightened out. Now all I got to do is kind of grind off. I mean it's like a real sharp edge right there. And kind of smooth these edges off some. I uh, got cut up a couple of times but that's the way it goes when you're working on stuff like this. But I'll keep watching and let's finish prepping these rims so we can get these things painted. <laughs> bad boys all sanded down, paint strips sanded down. Next step, we're going to paint them. We're going to do the same thing we did on the front fender crest. We're going to use a primer and then the Rust-Oleum lacquer. This is the black stainless and the clear coat, gloss clear coat, Rust-Oleum lacquer. I'll keep watching and let's get these things painted up so we can put them together. I know the lighting's terrible out here. It's because I'm going into the sun, but all I'm doing right now is I'm using some acetone and I'm going to clean all the dust from the sanding and grinding that I did. Let's clean these up. I got these all clean with acetone, got all the strip paint stripper off of them and all the grinding sanding dust off of them. I got these taped up, the studs are all taped up. So now we're going to put some of this uh, primer. This is a two-in-one filler and sandable primer. So we're going to put some of this on there and then once we get it dry, we'll see how it looks. Probably put a couple of coats of this on there. Finished priming. These are primer. I got like three coats of primer and wet sanding and then clean them off real good with some distilled water, clean them off. So the priming's done. Next up, this afternoon, I'm going to put some of this uh, black stainless steel on the rims. And then once we get that done, then we'll do the clear. Finished painting the black stainless. I got three coats on the rims. Now we're going to put some clear coat on there. The custom premium lacquer. 
clear coat. It says gloss. And I think I'm going to put two or three coats of this. I, we'll see how it looks as we go along. And then I need to add more coats. I'll add more coats. All right, y'all, here we go. Gloss coat. How to put on the gloss. We got our rims all painted inside and out. Now we're going to see about putting these things together. And to put these together, we're going to take our tubes, we're going to stick them inside our tires, and we're going to inflate them just a little bit, just enough so they have enough, I guess, body to them where you can kind of handle them. Because trying to, trying to mess with them when they're all flat like this is not very easy. It's kind of difficult. So let's open our tubes and we'll stick them in our tires and kind of get them situated in there and then we will put our rims on. Let's do it. tubes in the tires and we got them inflated just enough so they'll kind of hold a little body to them and now we're going to put the rims on. Pull this tape off. We tape these studs off. Now as you can see these are a two-part rim and see they have a little notch in them. Both sides have a little notch, and that little notch is where the inner tube stem goes through that hole, and it kind of folds over that notch. Okay, so you want to make sure your notches are lined up, like that. Notches are lined up, and then your stem will go in, and it will kind of go across this way. Okay, let's see if we can put these in. So we will put this in, like so. Hopefully, this is the plan. See if we can line up the stem. Stem goes in. And then... We'll have to get some little lube on this. To get this to go in. So I'll put a little silicone on here. Put this on the other side. Let me do it this way. Let me spray it on my rag. So it won't get it everywhere. Okay, we'll line these up. to about 20 psi. Now, when I was looking through the manual, the front tire is supposed to be about 17 and a half psi, and the rear tire for this one, because I don't know for sure, it, it says it gives two different values. One if you're carrying someone on the back, and then one if you're not. So it's about 25 psi if you're not carrying somebody, and then about 35 psi if you are carrying somebody. So when I get to that point, I'll probably set it to about 30 psi, something like that, once that tires are on and I get this thing on the ground and we'll recheck all the pressures and everything. So that's one one wheel down. Now I'm going to do the other two.
three tires mounted. Ready to go. They're all inflated to 20 PSI. So the one I put on the front, whichever one that might be, will have to be decreased a little bit. And then whichever one I put in the back will have to be increased a little bit. And the spare will stay in the spare. I think that's going to do it for this episode. Y'all keep watching. Let's wrap it up. There you go. Episode 14, episode 14 is in the books. And in this episode, we worked on the wheels and tires. We cleaned, prepped, painted the rims, and then assembled the tires and tubes onto the rims. We got them ready for installation when we get to that point. Keep an eye out for episode 15 or episode Kindichi. Episode 15, in that episode, I hope to prep and install a front fork. That's the plan anyway. So keep an eye out for episode 15. I hope this video helped you out. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, you can give me a thumbs down too. Either way, leave some comments. Good comments, bad comments, indifferent comments, but not foul comments. We try to keep it family friendly over here. Maybe some questions, recommendations, experiences you've had working on Vespas, rebuilding Vespas that other people can use that are trying to do the same thing or looking for this kind of content. We appreciate all those comments. And check us out on our social media, at Living Cooper, on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and Help Harbor. Also, check out our blog over at livingcooper.com. And last, and probably most importantly, is please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're notified next time we upload. Check out our other videos. We got other how-tos, reviews, travels. Check those out, and we'll see you guys next time. Ciao.